So this short video is an introduction to your chunk of time this morning for your higher engineering science and your pneumatics task. All the information you require is on the P drive, CDT, engineering science, higher engineering science 2021, same as last week. In the new folder, there is a folder of pneumatics content. Now the file is simply called pneumatics. I would suggest that we spend a wee bit of time looking at that making sure that you are familiar with the various connections that you need on the valves, the different types of actuators, and the different types of basic uh, pneumatic circuits. So that's your first port of call. When you feel you've done that, the next task that you're going to be looking at um, is requiring you to plan a sequential control circuit. So when you're planning a sequential control circuit, you really need to lay out uh, your double acting cylinders with your 5-2 valves, and you need to position valves in a position where that if something outstrokes, so A is going to outstroke, it's going to hit this one here. And once you've got your basic valves um, and cylinders laid out in the correct positions, you should then start populating the valves with the connection. So as you can see there, I have correctly put in the mains air at the correct point on the valves. Putting in the spring return for the valves that require a spring return. I've decided to, decided to use a push button as the actuator for this first one. So I'm pushing the button to make it start. Uh, I've decided to use a plunger because that would be appropriate for the, the double acting cylinder to come out and hit that plunger there and the same over on valve uh, on the right hand side there. Um, and then I can start connecting up. So the first thing that's to happen is A is to go positive. So this 3-2 valve is going to give a pilot signal to this 5-2 valve here, which in turn will send air along this pipe, making that piston move positive as it hits this uh, uh, plunger on this one, the, it will send the pilot signal to the other one because I'm thinking from A plus I've got to go to B plus. So again, this pilot signal will tell the 5-2 valve to send air to this double acting cylinder, sending it positive. As it hits that positive, I have to do A minus and B minus together. So when the air comes out of here, um, it's going to do two different things. So the T piece is going to uh, pilot signal to this 5-2 valve sending B negative, but also at the same time a pilot va pilot signal to this 5-2 valve over here to send cylinder A negative. So that's my little demonstration of planning a sequential control circuit. You can then uh, go and have a look at task two. Task two, there's a little bit of writing there uh, that you need to read. That's telling you the specification of the system that you're planning. That's the number of parts you've got and you are to design a pneumatic circuit to meet the specification above. Now, you can either use the valves like I have done, or you can use block symbols like this. We were the warning, you will be faced with things like this in your exam, so I would encourage you wherever possible to try and make sure you're familiar with where the mains air and the connection should be connected to the actual valves. Um, so that one piece of paper with your name on it and task 2A is what I'm hoping that you're going to hand in at the end of this block of time this morning. Um, if anybody gets finished early, then there is also in that same folder of pneumatic stuff, there is some work there on pneumatic descriptions. Um, there is a couple there where I have shown the marking scheme, and then there's a more complex one, again, with the marking scheme. And then I would ask you to go and look for other pneumatic circuits that you've got to describe.